Uh, reserved retrospective. Big personality when needed to be. I got a chance to spend a lot of time with him with basketball, with our borders, the way he interacted with adults, with kids. He made the room feel small. So because of his size, he intimidated students, his families, the soft words of advice, the charisma, all of those things embodied who Bob Lanier was in his memory will never be forgotten. His connection to the Warriors, he was an assistant coach, 1992, Bob Lanier. And, and a prideful gentleman, and listening to Detroit, he knew that Bob was a little ill, but not to the extent because Bob didn't want to share. He didn't want to burden anybody else with his problem. Conchar. What I think. It, it, it's just like, out of the memory banks, we lost it because the players know they didn't get it. The coach didn't have to say a lot on that. Like, bro, you, you, you know better. I don't have to tell you. Playing, when they're together, they'll talk about it themselves. Game six will be Friday night in San Francisco. Back to War Anderson. There's a cigar and a nice something watching that game on Friday. <laughs> Are you sharing your travel plans with no, us? Just, just, I, I didn't give, I didn't disclose the location. It does have some water and palm trees. And uh, <laughs> many beaches. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Lee with a jump shot before of the first round. He's scheduled to be reevaluated tomorrow. However, I have been told regardless, taking away opportunity. This Memphis team has size for days. Damon Lee come off the screen right there. All chalk so far in the NBA playoffs. Higher seed has won in the first round. Kaminga dives to the rim and puts it down hard. I mean, it did surprise me, not that Phoenix won last night, but in the way in which they won. Again, look only having one assist, which means that nobody was making baskets. I mean, that's just what that is. And his supporting cast didn't travel with him in regards to giving him the needed ammunition to make that game competitive. That, that, that was interesting to me in that game last night. 21 Golden State hey. Tillman had the ball knocked out of his hands. Out of bounds with 13 to shoot. Largest lead has been 55 for the Memphis Grizzlies. The fake. Not a trap. Memphis came in shooting 44% from the field in the postseason. Only Chicago has been worse from the field than the Grizzlies. That number is going to improve with 49% tonight. Obviously, seven minutes of change. The stats will alter a bit, but it's all meaningless as far as trying to put it into context. Well, I, let me put it in context for you. You're big, you're strong, you're agile. Use that to your advantage and get points inside. Body blows, body blows. And they've been able to do that because this Golden State team is wearing thin with bodies. And you got to take advantage of that because if you let this team have a spark of balance and energy, especially when they go back home like that. Kaminga! Okay. Skywalker! Well, think about that. Doing that in front of their crowd at home early in the game. What kind of energy that provides to this Golden State team. And an offensive foul on that screen set by Culver. Yeah, some dudes just are blessed and gifted with Bob. And Jonathan Kaminga. Once he gets a feel of how to play at this level, I know that coaching staff and that organization, a lot of high hopes and aspirations for this young man. Jim, I said I wasn't going to give runs. <laughs> well, now you're setting it up to mean that you are going to give. That's what that is. Well, because I wasn't going to give Memphis runs considering the disparity in score. It's an 11-0 Golden State win. Oh, so, so you left it ambiguous. You yeah. That word, right? Yeah. Well done. Right, scrap it. Perfectly used, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> a lot of smiles for the Memphis Grizzlies. And the reemergence of Steven Adams, who is now going to be a big part of this for the Grizz. Capital One's the match is back on TNT. Tom Brady, it's kind of been in the news.
Along with Aaron Rodgers, they battle superstars Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. Watch live June 1st, 6.30 p.m. Eastern on TNT. To your Stephen Adams, there's a lot of people that are outside watching on fans. Well, Stephen Adams should have been playing last series, and he could have done. Listen, history tells us that Stephen Adams didn't play well when he was at OKC against Carnton Anthony Towns, and he didn't play well against someone who's in Minnesota. That's why he didn't play. That's why he wasn't a part of the game plan. This is a different mix here because you don't have a post player to contend with that you'll get him in foul trouble. And he can hang around the basket and be an intimidator and a finisher at the rim. So each game in series is different. The game planning, the personnel may be a little different, and that's why you see the impact this evening. These guys are making shots. Second unit for Golden State, third unit in some of these substitutions. It's Moody with a three, 128. 289, just over five minutes to go, fourth quarter. Conchar, get it inside, and so on finishes. Memphis has been held to under 100 points twice in this series. Never scored less than 100 in the first round against Minnesota. The two high scoring teams and both teams look to push the tempo as much as possible. We got a timeout, 4.58 to play. Memphis Grizzlies on the verge of cutting this series to 3-2.